All right, we're going to go through two confrontations that took place over the last few days. They are very different in nature. I think there's there are some important things to be said about both. Um, Rand Paul was confronted by a Kentucky resident during a town hall that he did. We're going to look at that a little bit later. But first, I want to talk about what happened to Fox News propagandist Tucker Carlson when he was at a fishing store, fish supply, tackle bait type store. It, you can tell I'm, I don't fish um, in the state of Montana where he was confronted. And what I want to we're going to look at the video. We're going to look at the reporting. But what I really want to focus in on here are two things. One, the reactions about the nature of what took place here from a speech standpoint. That's number one. And then number two, the utter disgusting, dripping hypocrisy that comes uh, with this tactic, which I've also I mean, you guys might remember, I recently was also confronted by someone who disagreed with my political views in public. So let's get right into it. Huffington Post report man confronts Tucker Carlson at Montana store. You are the worst human being. When a local fly fishing guide spotted noted vaccine skeptic Tucker Carlson at a sporting goods store in Livingston, Montana, he did not waste time. Dan Bailey can be heard telling the Fox News host in a video, you were the worst human being known to mankind. He captioned the video. It's not every day you get to tell someone they are the worst person in the world and really mean it. What an a hole. Um, there's one other interesting aspect to this which uh, which I will get back to. OK, so here's the video. If you're watching, it's subtitled. It's only about 25 seconds long. I don't care. Man. OK, just two. You are the oh, worst human being. I have known you. to man. I want you to know that we're going to this thing, to the United States, to everything else in this world. I don't care that you're not here. What you have done to people's families, what you have done to everybody else in this world. Settle down, son, is very, very condescending. And Tucker is an expert, clearly, in being condescending, probably picked up those techniques at his various country clubs um, from reports about how he treats the staff at country clubs. A, a little bit more here. All right. So Tucker then walking away and looking apparently at some flies or bait or something like that. Now, here's one up before we get into this here. Here's the most incredible part of this entire story. The guy who confronts Tucker Carlson is named Dan Bailey. The confrontation happened at Dan Bailey's fly shop. But the Dan Bailey who did the confrontation has nothing to do with Dan Bailey's fly shop. It's a coincidence that a guy named Dan Bailey in Livingston, Montana, is in Dan Bailey's shop and is not actually the Dan Bailey from the shop. Like, it, is this a common name or something? In my, it's an incredible detail that just adds to, to the in, entire insanity of it. But OK, so what are the reactions? I mean, this was speech, right, guys? There was no physical violence. If anything, it was actually uh, Tucker Carlson who at different points in time is sort of getting very, very close to Dan Bailey and and getting up really close to him. If you could argue if anybody was physically intimidatory here, uh, it, it was really more Tucker than anybody else. So clearly right wingers are in favor of the speech, right? Well, not exactly. Check out what Dinesh D'Souza said. Big free speech advocate. Quote, this is a shocking video. This man should be arrested for what he did to Tucker Carlson in front of his daughter. First of all, the moralizing about in front of his daughter. I don't even know that I get that, but certainly it has no criminal relevance. But what would you arrest Dan Bailey for that? He expressed a view that is different than that of Dinesh D'Souza or different than that of Tucker Carlson or different than that of Tucker Carlson's daughter. Maybe. I mean, who knows what Tucker Carlson's daughter's political views are? You are all about free speech and not regulating and blah, 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 all this different stuff. And you want someone arrested for something they said when it was Tucker who got real close to the guy and actually started poking him on the chest. What crime, sir? Sir, sir. Yeah. So this happened to me not that long ago. OK, I described the incident a little while ago. Um, I was sitting outside at a terrace at a restaurant. And as I was walking away, I heard someone go, hey, Pacman. And I turned. I was about 30 feet. They watched me walk right by them, waited until I was 20, 30 feet away, then said, hey, Pacman. I turn around. 
don't say anything, just turn around. And they say, you Jew imperialist bastard, change your ways. And as I've said before, I'm not against the principle of the, this technique. Um, if you're a public person and you're in public, uh, people are going to come up and give you their opinion. And most of the time people come up and they say hello and they say they agree with my opinions. It just happened a few times this weekend. And every once in a while, someone might disagree. This happened to be an ignorant moron who was anti-Semitic, right? When, once they drop in, you Jew imperialist bastard. But there's a different thing here. It's not what I think about the technique. What does Tucker himself think of the technique? Well, Tucker came out in favor of this technique. Remember when Tucker Carlson did an entire segment on his show urging viewers to accost mask wearing strangers and parents of children who are being told to wear a mask. Tucker said accost them on the street. He encouraged it. And so he must be OK with this technique, right? Well, according to the Daily Beast reporter Justin Barragona, a Fox News spokesperson said that the man in Montana was ambushing Tucker Carlson in a store and that it was, quote, totally inexcusable and that no public figures should be accosted regardless of political persuasion or beliefs due to the intolerance of another point of view. So wait a second, guys. Tucker's view is parents who are not public figures, they're just parents. If they are wearing masks or their kids are wearing masks, even though they're not wanting to be public people, they're not choosing to be public people, they should be accosted per Tucker Carlson. But Tucker, as one of the highest rated uh, hosts on Fox News, who chooses to go out there and be a public figure and say these things, he's off limits. That's the point of view between Tucker and Fox News. It's deranged, guys. It is absolutely and completely deranged. These people are hypocrites when you know the principles first people not only you know i've said before principles first is not always i mean okay talk about principles but the difficulty is in applying the principles to the real world and if you only talk about principles you lose reality that's one critique of principles first the other critique is a lot of the principles first people abandon their principles as soon as it's inconvenient to what they what they actually want to experience in real life so absolutely pathetic and disgusting and um, uh, this this is uh, this has happened to me. I've got to deal with it. I could stop doing my show. I could wear a disguise. I could you know do whatever the hell I want. Um, but uh, the idea that the arrest this man is just the, the you know it's it's peak cringe, giga cringe. I think is what I would uh, call it. In fact, one of our sponsors is Privacy.com. They're giving you five dollars when you sign up for their completely free service at privacy.com slash Pacman. I've been using privacy for a little over a year now. You've heard me talk about it before. It's a lifesaver. And here's how it works. It takes just a couple of minutes to set up. Anytime you buy something online or on the phone, instead of actually using your real credit card number, the privacy app and the browser plugin let you give each company a randomized virtual credit card number that you create out of thin air. It'll even autofill the card number with one click. And the payment is taken out of your checking account without the merchant ever knowing your real information. So this allows you to keep your banking information secure, but also to take control of your finances. You can create up to 12 of these virtual credit cards a month. You can set spending limits. You can freeze them. You can delete them anytime you want. So when you do this, it means you're not going to be charged when you don't want to be because you can destroy the virtual card number right after using it, which, for instance, I love using free trials because I know I won't be charged when the trial is over. If I use a virtual credit card number, you're keeping your identity private by not telling companies who you are. You're keeping your bank or credit card info protected against data breaches and identity theft. And it's free. And like I said, you'll get five dollars to spend when you sign up at privacy.com slash Pacman.